First, we have exclusive de developments on an immigration raid. Tonight, relatives of some of the workers detained by ICE are talking only to Eyewitness News. 31 maintenance workers were arrested after raids on Rhode Island's six courthouses. 19 of them are still in custody tonight. They were employed by outside companies. The investigation launched at the request of the judiciary. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado is live in Warwick with the exclusive story. Aaron, we talked to one of the workers caught up in that immigration raid here at the Kent County Courthouse. She's a U.S. citizen, so she was able to walk away. But her cousin, a Guatemalan native, was not. He remains in custody tonight. I'm going to try to keep our family unit together, and hopefully they could release him and work with him because he, you know, he hasn't done anything bad. As 20-year-old Jennifer Luiza and her cousin Johnny reported for cleanup duty at the Kent County Courthouse Tuesday, they were greeted by immigration agents and Rhode Island State Police who quickly whisked them into a side room. For me, it was chaotic. They, they got each individual with a separate person, part of the immigration, and they basically sat them down and started asking them questions. Jennifer, a U.S. citizen, was allowed to leave, but Johnny, a Guatemalan native, was not. He is one of 31 people arrested at six Rhode Island courthouses. The feds say they are all illegal immigrants with fake documents hired by Tri-State Enterprises in North Providence and Falcon Maintenance in Johnston to work at the courthouses. Simply put, Illegal aliens using fake documents to work in the United States are a vulnerability to sensitive security sites. He's been in this country for so long, it's like if he were to go back, he wouldn't even know what to do with himself out there. And we all love him to death. Johnny has been here for 15 years. He has two children and a wife. The family says he loves working and the U.S. Now the family must figure out what to do next. To try to resolve this, you know, and get him right again, you know, and get him back, obviously, and, and have him stay here with us and his family, his, his two young sons who need him. Well, the family says, says Johnny is being held in Central Falls. He'll be transported to Boston. The family is consulting some lawyers. We're live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in Warwick. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.